All right, here I'm going to go ahead and resize them. The resizing is done as 1.13125 is what a bomb said in his video. That was the exact diameter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these out of acrylic, uh, 3 8 acrylic, and then I'm going to go ahead and take them to the lathe um, and machine them to the correct size for the press fit and for the opening for the actual oiler way and then I'm going to go ahead and polish them so we can clearly see the internals. I'm sure the original ones were probably extruded uh, cast acrylic parts that were mass produced and these ones are actually made by hand. Like I said earlier I could probably machine these right off my machine here but this way seems a little more interesting because I get to involve two machines one I get to laser cut all the parts which gives me a good finish all the way around for the actual cut part and second I get to involve the actual lathe at work that is a 17 inch or 7 foot um, South Bend lathe so here I'm going to go ahead, I have already resized the part. So now I'm going to go ahead and place these, copy this part, and then cut the parts out on the laser. So when I get the laser set up, I'll bring it back for the laser part. You know, on second thought, I may as well go ahead and just set this up so that way you, some people might want to get the see of, of how you set this up. Uh, for the laser, the laser I'm using is going to be a universal laser system which has a 500 a, a uh, 50 watt laser in it So what we do is I'm going to go ahead and copy all these now, I'm sure there's probably other ways to do this But this is my way of doing it and uh, we're not saying that my way is the only way, like always, it's not my way. Um, there's many ways to get things done. And I'll be the first to tell you that I am a, I'm as dumb as a box of rocks. And uh, I don't consider myself a smart individual. I just uh, enjoy thinking my way through circumstances, thinking my way through problems, instead of stopping at a problem and quitting, uh, finding a way through it. So he has four on his way. The other one is, the other one that's on his cross is uh, not the same kind of material, or not same kind of, not same size. Uh, these ones go in. The one that he has on the cross goes outside. So I don't know the dimensions of that one. So forgive me for this being my first video. Uh, it is kind of nerve-wracking. Then I'm also trying to pay attention to my other machine too in the background to make sure that it's not going to crash into anything and also make sure that it's going to continue to go through the code. Alright, knowing me, I always make mistakes and uh, things that always happen, things that can go wrong, will go wrong. So I always make sure that uh, I cut myself plenty of extra material um, because, uh, yeah, I always make mistakes and I don't always get it right. I am by no means a professional machinist. My grandfather is the one that taught me how to machine and... Um, And I'm also still learning this this uh, software. And there's a lot of people out there that are gonna know more than me and say, man, there's a lot of easier ways to do that. And I'm sure there is. Um,
I don't even know why I have to line them up. I don't have to line them up. I'm just going to cut them out of a piece of acrylic. But anyway, this is just me being me going through all these uh, Like I said, this is a little nerve-wracking, but uh, in some ways I'm a perfectionist. I like to do it right the first time and to where I don't have to do it over and over and over again. So then when I get ready to cut these out, I'll cut them out. So what happens here is I go ahead and go to print because the way this system operates, it operates as a regular printer. Uh, printer port and you send this to the laser system as a printer, printer uh, setup. The only thing that's different with this is you've got color codes so you have to decide what your colors are going to do and um, so I changed this to a vector and uh, so that my red is a vector and that's my speed and my power and I want to get through 3 8 so I'm definitely not going to use 100% speed. Usually I use green. I think I'll change it back to green so I stay the same. I'll just change all these to green. And then this way now, when I go to, to set this to the printer, Um, I go to preferences and it's green I hope you can see that and then I'll set my green to vector because a vector is to cut rosters like to engrave and then I'll set my power on this uh, to 60 and then I'll set my speed way down to I think it's 2.7 I know a lot of people say it's always max 100 and then you just work up your power but I have found it otherwise uh, different I have been able to cut with this machine I have been able to cut uh, up to 3 quarter inch 3 quarter inch acrylic without ever catching on fire uh, without any uh, without any issues and a relatively straight line and most of it's by patience and definitely not running it at 100% that definitely catch it on fire so I press OK I click apply and then when I turn the machine on you're gonna hear all the noise and then I will click OK to send it to the machine but the machine's not on it's not even ready so I will go ahead and take care of that and I'll bring it back okay I changed the configuration a little bit as you can tell the machine is already on so now we're getting ready to cut this let's see if we can cut sorry about me holding this someday I'll have a better camera that will have a stand on it so let's see if this works okay let's turn on the back one Let's start. Oops. Yeah, stop it. What I always forget to do. I always forget to focus it. So let me focus it and I'll go back. Alright, now we're focused. Let's try to start again. There we go. This is usually by trial and error. So. That one didn't go through exactly, so. Uh, let me change the settings, I'll be back. Alright, I believe I've dialed it in this time, so let's try it again. There we go.
when you see it shining on the paper that's when I know it's cutting all the way through and since I don't have the paper on top I have less chance of it catching on fire it also has uh, it doesn't have to cut through the paper it cuts right to the chase it cuts right to the acrylic So it's going to give me a nice polished edge all the way around so I don't have to flame polish the edge. And then I can just take these and chuck them up in the lathe and go ahead and cut my shoulder for them to go ahead and, and just push fit into the holes. This is 3 8 acrylic, it's at 85 power, and it's 1.2 speed. Which is moving right along. I was told that I'd be lucky if I could cut half inch with this machine. And like I said, I've cut all the way up to uh, 3 quarter inch material. Actually, no, I lied. I've cut all the way to one inch material. I've cut one inch material on this machine. It didn't do it in one pass, I will admit. But nonetheless, I was able to do uh, cut one inch material with this machine. I think it took me three passes. Thank you. 